Hey everybody, myself Dr. Deepak Arya and uh, first of all I want to thank you all for liking our channel and uh, we have crossed the mark of 1000 subscribers just because of you all and today's topic is rabies. Today we will talk about rabies that uh, what are the signs and symptoms in case of rabies. Secondly, we will talk about the confirmatory diagnostic test in case of rabies and uh, lastly we will talk about a practical case that what you should do if you find somebody got bitten by a dog or your loved one. Let's go for the video and see that how thing goes. So now we are talking about the signs and symptoms of rabies in case of dogs. Well, firstly for first 4 to 5 days the dog will not eat anything. He will stop eating. After 4 to 5 days he will start biting other people. He may start biting other dogs. If he finds some kind of wood or iron rod even, then he will start biting that even. So, uh, and rabies has two forms, furious form and dumb form. In case of furious form, the dog will continuously bite other dogs, he may bite other persons. And in dumb form, he will sit at one place and whenever somebody goes near to him, and he just bites him. So these are two forms of rabies. And uh, when he start biting other dogs, then at that time only, after 2 to 3 days of time, then there is drooling of saliva from his mouth because he is not able to uh, lock his jaw in that case. And uh, there is hydrophobia as well. Hydrophobia comes just 2 to 3 hours before the death of dog. What is hydrophobia? In hydrophobia, the dog starts uh, frightening from water. So these are the signs and symptoms of rabies. So now we will talk about the confirmatory test. Well, if we talk about the confirmatory test, then in that case there are only few labs in India which are doing a rabies test and they need a brain sample of the dog in case of confirmation test of rabies. They need to see the negri bodies which are present in the brain sample. Practically it is impossible because if you find a dog is having rabies, then you need to break the skull of that dog, take out the brain and you need to take that sample to the hospital or to the lab where tests should be performed. So practically it is impossible. So you need to rely on the symptoms and you need to rely on whatever uh, precautions I am going to tell you now about rabies. Let's go for it. So uh, talking about the practical example, for example uh, you go to the market and uh, they are, you are roaming somewhere and suddenly a dog comes and bites some of your friends or uh, whoever it is what should be done now so if it is a street dog it is an abandoned dog if it is then in that case if you don't have the history then you need to go for the 7 shots of anti rabies vaccine to you or to that person who are to whom the dog has bitten the formula is 0, 3, 7, 14, 28, 60 and 90. Means if a dog has bitten you on 1st January, then 1st January, 3rd January, 7th January, 14, 28 January, then uh, after that 28th Feb and uh, 31st of March. This should be the schedule. But if the dog is someone's pet and if he is properly vaccinated, then that case you need to go for 3 shots of anti rabies vaccine on 0, 3rd and 7th day and on the 7th day just see whether the dog with whom you have contracted whether that dog is alive or not if he is alive and if he is not having any signs and symptoms and if he is eating and everything is normal then in that case you should stop at 3 vaccines only but if the dog has died maybe due to any reason then in that case you need to go for all the 7 shots because as you know there is no treatment of rabies and if the wound is big enough then in that case serum is injected so that is available in the market also so just go for that now I want to tell you about a few diseases in which symptoms are very similar to rabies so the dog should not be ill treated if you find one or two symptoms similar to that of rabies for example if the dog is having ulcers, then in that case, 
there will be drooling of saliva from his mouth and he will not eat anything so don't misunderstand that thing because it is due to ulcers it's not due to rabies so this is one example another is uh, I found a dog two three years back there uh, the owner was uh, uh, the owner tied a coat and it was very tight on his tummy and the rope which was on his tummy that was wet so when the rope was rolling on his tummy wet that wet rope his skin got sloughed off from there and the dog was biting everybody when they called me to just see that whether uh, he is having rabies or not I first sedated, sedated him and I what I saw that it's not due to rabies he is not biting due to rabies actually he was telling everybody that somebody take this hell out of my you know body so every time it's not rabies if you find three four symptoms matching suppose he is not taking food there is drooling of saliva he is biting each and everybody without any reason then in that case go to a vet and let him check first that whether it is rabies or not there may be any other symptom and we may take a wrong decision keeping in view that it is rabies but actually it is not rabies it may be something else so I hope you have uh, gained much knowledge from this video regarding rabies and this will help you and uh, staying fit with your companion that is dog one more thing this knowledge is not limited to dogs only these all the symptoms are applicable for cats these symptoms are applicable for all the rodents if you are keeping some mouse or some uh, guinea pigs or some kind of hamsters so these tests or these things are for all the animals so I hope you have liked the video and keep supporting us we will make uh, better videos in the coming future and if you find any other topic which is uh, uh, creating uh, some kind of uh, confusion in your mind you can uh, send this, send that in our comment section and I will try to make video on that also. Thank you.